Sass Assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review, kind of. So today, we're doing the punch bento box. Very nice bento box. You can see myself right here. Hey! So yeah, punch bento box. Um, I got this a little late because there was various reasons why I don't want to get this particular box. But... Now it's like the only way to get the egg roll. So I decided to buy a box so that I can have the egg roll. But we'll review that in a little bit. So this thing came out with 42 cigars. MSRP is 205.58-ish. It comes with 20 egg rolls, punch egg rolls, 20 punch, uh, 12 punch chop suey, which the least of liking. So I got to review that today. And 10 compound all right so get the wrapper off and we'll take a look take a good look <laughs> all right so what construction these thing looks like they are, they will print on not a sticker they just print on okay see that the top is a slight open drawer. Just like that. Comes off. Actually, I actually like the way this looks. Like, this is pretty cool. I just put it out there. It's on, on the wall. It's pretty cool. All right. So, put that on the side. It comes with one weird-ass cigar rest. One weird-ass cigar rest. And the cigars are laid down right on top of each other. Like that. So here's an egg rolls. Ah, egg rolls. Chop three. Compound. Uh, compound right here. Jeez, I can't tell left and right. So, with that said, of course I'm gonna smoke the one that I pretty much least like, and do it as a re-review, revisit. Let me see if there's anything below that. Just for the heck of it. Nope. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. Okay. So, yeah. You know, to be honest, I would love to get rid of all these cigars and put other cigars that I usually smoke, like the, all the Lanceros I smoke or all the Toro I smoke in here and become one of my go upstairs, go to the deck box. And that'll be pretty nice. That's probably what I'm going to do. Is take out all the compound, take out all the thing, and put my other cigars in there. If I did it, I'll take a photo and I'll put it on my Instagram and we can take a look what I put in there. Make a guess what I'm gonna put in there. The person who get it right gets a price. So let's put this aside and let up this chop suey. go now for those people who doesn't know what chop suey is chop suey is basically stir fry bits all right suey actually means like bits of stuff so when you stir fry bits that's actually just cheap ass vegetable that we usually don't like to eat for example bean sprouts cabbage shred uh, that kind of stuff like you know vegetable stuff that you don't really like to eat you have a lot of left over because when you go buy a bag of bean sprout, they go back in two or three days really quickly. And so a lot of time you'll cook one of these chop suey thing and eat it. Eat it. Okay. The draw is horrible. It's a shaggy open foot. I don't know why it's horrible. And I don't think I can cut any more than this because it will have no cap. 
One more card. That's it. I'm not too surprised because I don't like Chop Street to start with. So let's get a lighter. Light this up. As for the Chop Suey, let's get some information here. It was released in 2020, right after the egg roll. I don't know why they just don't do another egg roll, but they decided to do these 7x37 Penatella. Uh, these uh, MSRP at $5.49 each. I don't know why they do that, but they did. They came in a paper box. I showed that before, right? Because I'm stupid like that. Yep. Here is the box for the chop suey. It looks like that. Okay. Um, I believe that. See, this is how much I hate the cigar. Is that knowing that I have the box of cigars still in here, I didn't bother. I don't remember I have a cigar in here. All right, so now you know how much I don't like the cigar at the time. But I will give a proper review this time. All right, so here we go. Back to where it belongs, where sun doesn't shine. Okay, so it's out of the box. <clears throat> Let's talk about this. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Sumatra, binders Nicaraguan, and the filler is DR in Nicaragua. Okay. So what I get. It's woodsiness. Some pepper. Some um, a cross between a chocolate and cinnamon, but n neither is close enough. And it almost comes at a, like a stinky taste. And a little bit of creaminess. And the taste is like, I don't know, kind of messy. And it's definitely somewhere in the full string range. Yeah, it tastes like wet stuff. Like the cross between a rotten chocolate and a rotten cinnamon with like really wet taste to it. And this wet leaf thing tastes like those gray and brown brown wet leaf that you get like at the end of the fall before snow comes down. That kind of taste. And a lot of pepper. Now finally it got through that shaggy open part. And now it's going towards the actual Sumatra um, leaf wrapper. We'll see if that kind of helps a little bit. Nope, just as bad. <laughs> just as bad. 
So let me smoke one third. I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back. Ugh. Yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> this is exactly why I don't like this cigar. Now, it's cheap enough we can't complain. It's five and a half. But look at this. Somebody forgot to pour some tobacco in here again. It's a hole all the way through, man. All the way through. You can see the black dot all the way through. It's horrible. Someone's missing some tobacco. Yeah, let me dust this off. Feel like you see. It's not the amber issue. All right, I just dusted it all the way to the amber. You see, there is no tobacco in there. Zero, nada, gone. So yeah, it's shitty. But yeah, that marks the first third. First third is watered down, strong, wet leaf flavor. Uh, they had a little bit of pepper. It's dying. Uh, it's not really peppery uh, right now. So I don't. I don't know. If it's because missing tobacco is missing flavor or what. But every time I smoke something like this for a chap sweet, it's either bad draw or bad construction or bad whatever. But then again, it's five and a half dollars, right? So let me went through go through the the second there. We'll see if that fixes itself somewhere. It gets better or well, I have to do some surgery to push it down so that you actually burn. Be right back. All right, so did a little surgery. Now it's a little bit better. I don't know if you can see it, a little bit better. Um, the flavor actually just not water. It's like really light of a flavor, but really strong with strength. So I don't, I don't think where this is going. It's just not a lot of flavor. Um, flavor is the same. Just light and watered down and not really crazy like i can take a sip of coffee and all the flavor just goes away but you get a little bit of woodsiness like wood bark wet and you get a little bit of leafiness and you get a little bit maybe like a in the retro hair a little bit like a like a coffee espresso kind of smell to it but it's not a lot right and then you get full strength so I, I, I always think that the chop suit is the flop. It's really not a good cigar. But yeah, this thing further strengthened that uh, theory or feeling about the cigar. Not a good cigar right now. Not a good cigar. So let me finish up, up this thing and we'll look at the band and go to a summary. Now, obviously, I will do another video on the compound, another video on the. Uh, um, Agro, and we'll finish that box. Be right back. Okay, so we're done. Now, the flavor doesn't change that much. It's, it, I mean, it's kind of expected being that thin. There's not much uh, transition you can do. So it's just pure of that flavor. Not much changing. I don't like it, but it's five, to, five and a half dollars, right? You know, what can you complain about, right? It's like you got a cigar for five bucks. Right, it's like bundle-ish level of prices. So, yeah, it's worth five and a half. But I would have bought it unless it came with the box or I had to do a review on it. I wouldn't have just, you know, I smoked it. I didn't like it, but it's worth five bucks. So if you like a cigar in that perspective, you like cigar with that size, you're gonna like it. But for me, I like all the cigar better. So not, th not, not, not this one, but you know, come with the box. So if you bought the box, you have a lot of these to smoke or give it to your friend to smoke. It works either way. I don't know. I'm going to take that out of that box anyway. So I'm probably got to give it away at the end for the raffle or something like that. That's always good, right? Give away cigars is always good. So that's it for this cigar review. Even though I didn't want to, but here you go. Really tiny punch band. Okay. 
nothing special, but it does catch your eyes though. Red and gold always catches your eyes. And the back it says, this cigar is never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you. But apparently it did. It definitely did. So that's it for the cigar review. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like it, like, subscribe, and um, comment and share. If you don't, it's totally fine. I don't blame you for this. Business. That's the way it is. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.